guys. I really haven't had much um, much feeling to vlog. Um, it's 5.15 and I'm on my way home in a rental car. I had to drop my car off early this morning. Um, my husband and I had to take Johnny to the barracks to send him off for boot camp and man you know we dropped my car off at the shop to be worked on today and I thought it was just a one day thing but they said that it was gonna be a few more days so they had me come up and get a rental but anyway we dropped it off and we drove to the to the barracks where Johnny was gonna be have a drug ship and um it was okay. I mean, I I, was, I knew that I, I was going, you know, it would be hard to watch my son go. Um, but I really didn't see myself crying or getting upset. Um, I've been preparing for it. But I tell you, the moment that the sergeant came where we were in the lobby and said, you know, just kind of nonchalantly walked backwards and said, well, he can come with me and you guys can say your goodbyes. And I was like, well, he's just going to take him down the hallway and leave us. We're leaving. And Johnny turned around and um, he opened up his arms to hug me and I, as soon as he put his arms around me, I lost it. <laughs> Here I go again. I tell you what. I just, all I can say was good luck, Johnny. I'll see you soon. Please call. And he left. And I know I'm being a big baby. But, um. pulling up here and my husband's going to be wondering why the heck I'm crying. I'm just going to finish this up. Hang on a second. Jessie's inside. She's inside. Uh, I'm at the driveway. <laughs> little girl. Little neighbor girl. I think I think she thought Jessie was with me. I'm going to pull in my garage here. And I'll just finish up. But anyway, guys, I um, I got in the car with my husband and we drove home and I just uh, sobbed my eyes out on the way home. Sorry, my dog's going to just keep barking. He has no idea who I am and who this car is. <laughs> so on the way home and I got home 10 minutes before preschool was going to be starting and I had to teach my preschool class and during circle time I I lost it again. Hang on. Trooper, come here. Look, it's me. Okay? Now hush up. Quit your barking. <laughs> Doesn't know who I am. Um, I cried. I cried to my preschoolers this morning. <laughs> And the feeling that I have today is this emptiness in my stomach. It's like a knot in my stomach. It's nerves. It's it's just hollow. It's I know he's gonna be fine. I've got a head on my shoulders about this, but I you know it's hard. I've never realized how hard it is um, to say goodbye to your kid like that. Just not being able to talk to him, not having any phone contact, not um, not knowing, you know, how he is or how he's feeling or how he's sleeping. He will be gone 10 weeks for boot camp and then he'll have 12 weeks of his IT, which is his MOS training. So he won't be coming home after boot camp. Um, he'll go straight into his training So, 
good 22 weeks without my boy. But it'll be good for him. And I haven't got on because, um, oh my goodness, because I just haven't really had a moment to myself to talk it out. And I'm home now, and my dog's going crazy at me, and my daughter's here, and a friend's here. And we did talk to Colton, though, um, the live-in that I have. My husband and I sat him down, and, um... We went over some ground rules. We're going to charge him rent beginning in March. Dogs. Trooper, come here. Stop it. Hush up. It is me. Dog thinks I'm some stranger. I'll do another vlog about Colton. I guess. I love you guys.